So let's uh, look at this chart. So I'm going to plot your spending uh, as a function of your age. So when you are age 0 to age of 100, so everyone's spending pattern is different. So I'm not going to tell you this is the spending pattern. So obviously, when kids are young, they probably don't have a lot of uh, uh, hobbies or other tuition, but they have some basic needs. So they, they spend. Then the spending really goes up. Now your parents have to pay your tuition, or you have to borrow loans, scholarships. And then you have, that's college. Then you have, you're married, you have kids, you need to buy a house, buy a car, pay back student loans. You have a lot more spending. Then you, you go on vacation, you, uh, you buy investments, you, you just have more spending coming up. So, but it goes to a certain point, it will taper down, right? So you're not going to keep going forever. So that's your spending curve. And the other curve you think about is what's your income? What's your earnings curve? You don't, you don't earn anything when you're just, when you're just born. But you earning, so this is spending. So let's call this 50. Your earning probably, typically, peaks around the age of 50, but it really depends. Then you probably go down back up, right? So that's your earning. And do they always match well? They don't. So how do you make up the difference, right? You hope to have a fund, have an investment on the side, which can generate those cash flows to balance your earning versus your spending. Okay, so that's only one simple way to 